Use data from a picture, lesson 4.9. Data means information. Some people say data. We can use data that we see in a picture to help us solve problems. Now remember, we can count on to add coins. We can count by 25s, 25, 50, 75, 100, and remember that two dimes and one nickel is equal to one quarter. So here we have a fruit market. See all the fruit? We have pears, and they're 40 cents each. And apples, they're 25 cents each. We have bananas, they're 15 cents each. And we have grapes, they're 95 cents for one bunch. So let's find out if we have enough money. Can we buy a pair with this money in the box? Remember, the pairs are 40 cents each, so we need 40 cents. So let's count. We have a quarter, that's 25. We have a nickel, that's five, and another nickel, and then we have five pennies. So let's count. We have 25 and a nickel. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So those two are 30. And another nickel. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. There's 40 cents there. So yes, we can buy one of the pairs, can't we? So the answer is yes. How about the money that's in this box? Can we buy a banana? What do we have in this box? We have a quarter. And a quarter is 25 cents, isn't it? And the bananas are 15 cents each. So do we have enough money? Can we buy a banana? With 25 cents? Yes. In fact, that's more money, isn't it? They would have to give us some money back. So yes, we can buy a banana. We have enough money. We have more than enough money. How about the money in this box? Can we buy an apple? Well, let's see how much money we have. We have five and another five and another five and another five. We have four nickels. Let's count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20. Because remember, two nickels makes a dime. So that means we have two ten cents, don't we? Ten, twenty. And how much are apples? Apples are twenty-five cents each. We only have twenty cents in this box. So no, we don't have enough money to buy an apple in this box, do we? How about in this box? Can we buy a bunch of grapes? Let's see how much money we have. We have a 50, that's a half dollar. We have a quarter, and we have two dimes and two pennies. So let's count 50, and 25 is 75, remember? Because we can count by 25s, 25, 50, 75. And 10 more, we have 75, and we have 10 more. We have one more in the tens place, And we have a five in the ones place. I'm going to do this in the next chapter. That's 85. If we add one more 10, we still have five in the ones place. Eight and one is nine. That's 95. Now we can add the two pennies, 96, 97. So there's 97 cents in this box. A bunch of grapes is 95 cents. So do we have enough money in the box to buy a bunch of grapes? We have 97. Yeah, we have enough. In fact, we don't need these two pennies, do we? We can buy the bunch of grapes with just these four coins. So yes, we do have enough money. Okay? Let's circle the groups of coins that are equal to $1. So let's count on 
to add these. We have a half dollar, that's 50. We have a quarter, 50 and 25. That makes 75 cents, right? Now we've got a 10 and a 10. So 75 and 10. We have a 5 in the 1's place. Let me make that a little better. We have a 5 in the 1's place and a 7 and a 1 in the 10's place. That's 85 cents. So we got 50, 75, and this one makes 85. Now we have to add this 10. We add one more 10 to this. And we're going to have 95. So is that equal to a dollar? We have to circle the groups that are equal to one dollar. No, that's not equal to a dollar, is it? So that one doesn't work. That's not a dollar. Let's try this one. Is this equal to a dollar? We start counting with the biggest coin, and that's a 50 cent, right? Because that's half dollar. Okay? And we have two quarters, a 25 and a 25. Do you remember how to count by 25s? We count 25, 50, 75, one dollar. Right? Let's put the cent signs. So that would be the 50, that's right here, and then we'd have 75, and the last one would make the dollar. So yeah, that one's equal to a dollar, so that one works. We can circle that one. How about here? Does this equal a dollar? We have one, two, three, four quarters. Remember, the quarters are 25 cents each. We count by 25s. Remember, 25, 50, 75, $1. 25, 50, 75, $1. Yeah, four quarters is equal to $1. So that's a dollar. We can circle that one. How about here? Is this a dollar? Well, let's see what we have. We have one, two, three quarters, okay, one, two, three quarters, and we have a nickel and we have four pennies. So let's count by 25s. 25, 50, 75, and the nickel is five more, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. So that's 80. We count the ones, 81, 82, 83, 84. No, that's only 84 cents. That's not a dollar, okay? So we found two that equaled a dollar. A half dollar with two quarters and four quarters equals a dollar, all right? So remember, when you are shopping and you see pictures and they have price tags on them, that tells you how much the item is and you can count your money to see if you have enough. Okay, I'll see you next video. We're going to talk about counting change that we get back when we have too much money. Bye.